In Brightmoor, gunshots are heard as often as school bells. On Monday mornings, kids can be a handful because they've not had a mouthful of food all weekend. Just to get to school, you have to pass abandoned houses where schoolgirls have been raped. Drugs are devoured and guns are hidden by young killers who think nothing of taking lives. You got to keep the drugs away from them. You got to keep them in activity. That's what you have to do to keep these kids out of trouble because these bullets is flying. The priority here is staying alive, not making sure homework is done. Historically, dropout rates are high, literacy rates low, and the cycle of poverty keeps rolling along. We went to Brightmore on Detroit's west side. What we found is some great kids with exceptional talents who want to learn. I'm going to graduate college and I want to do something successful with my life. How important is education to that? Education is so important in my life because not a lot of people in my family was able to finish school. Who want to go to college and graduate. I want to be a technical engineer, an engineer, or an MD. As I talk with the parents of Brightmore, they understand they play a key role. I don't think half the parents even care. I have watched children go to the store at nighttime by themselves to get a loaf of bread for their parents, and they sitting at home drinking and getting high. They have to come from home, too. The parents have to get them, you know, help out with homework. Most Brightmore schools have long been shut down and boarded up. There's only one high school here, and Sharon McPhail runs it the controversial lawyer and city council member who once said Kwame Kilpatrick rigged her chair in an effort to electrocute her. We're not a failing school. There are 184 failing schools in Michigan. We're not one of them. It was a failing school when I got here. McPhail runs Detroit Community Schools, a K-12 charter school with 800 students. She's been here almost four years and suddenly finds herself in a controversy. The Department of Education is investigating the status of certification for school staff. She went to a class, then decided it was a waste of time. She refuses to get certified, instead changing her title from superintendent to chief administrative officer. No, it would be hurting the students if I went to that class because that's four or five or six hours a week that I'm not doing stuff for them. So, no, I don't need it. She makes $130,000 and pays a six-figure salary to Bill Coleman to be her chief financial officer. Coleman was convicted as superintendent of a Texas school. Her dean of students is Sylvia James, who was thrown off the bench as a judge in Inkster following a misappropriated funds investigation. <laughs> McPhail has a brother on the staff and a relative of Kwame Kilpatrick's. She is proud of this, not apologetic. And a lot of people won't give him a chance, so what do I get for that? I get somebody that used to run school systems. Hello, Ms. Tamika. She walks the halls passing out compliments. She knows most every kid by name, and they support her. Graduation rates are up, but standardized test scores are abysmal. Only two students ever have passed all four sections of the ACT college entrance exam. I got them from 3.9 to plus 16.1.